hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back thank you for joining me today and for watching this video so today's topic i want to address the issue of bloating and top 10 healthy foods that you think you can consume a lot of it but no sorry to bust your bubble you can't consume a lot because these foods can make you bloated so if you want to find out what those 10 food options are please just keep on watching this video So bloating is when your tummy or your belly is enlarged or swollen after eating. This usually happens after you finish eating and after you finish consuming a particular kind of food. A lot of people get bloated like I am number one. I get bloated very, 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 very easily. And maybe because I'm getting older. For me personally, with age, it's becoming worse. And I'm trying to find out other and healthy options I can have so that I don't get bloated. Because seriously, it can be very, very tiring and worrisome. Bloating is usually when you have a lot of gas in your tummy and you have a lot of digestive issues. So it happens to a lot of people. Some people don't know what triggers it, but you need to listen to your body. You need to like find out what really triggers bloating in the first place and how to get rid of it because it can be very very uncomfortable for me i find it really uncomfortable and i just try to look for ways to tackle it so before you just go eating anything and you just feel like okay because i'm on a diet or uh, i'm on a weight loss journey i can eat a lot of these things you need to know this food that can really make you bloated it might not work for everybody but most times it might make you bloated so you, you really need to find out so these are the top 10 foods that can make you bloated without your knowledge the first food on my list is beans i had this weird notion that if i consume a lot of beans yes because beans is healthy it will make me add a lot of weight and everything is healthier than taking a lot of carbs and all that but trust me i was wrong so beans are a type of legumes and they contain a lot of healthy and protein carbs let me just say beans are like the right carbs you should eat and everything it has a lot of fiber as well but it doesn't just contain that as well apart from beans being very rich in fiber it contains a lot of several vitamins and minerals however Beans also contain some sugars called alpha galactosides, which belong to a group of carbs called FODMAPs. So, for FODMAPs, which are fermentable fats or fermentable like carbs, they find it difficult to like get digested in your body. So, you are taking a lot of carbs, but this kind of carbs escape digestion for one reason or the other, which scientists should actually let us know more of. So, apart from you just taking your beans, you are taking a lot of things things that are healthy unfortunately a little bit of things that are actually like unhealthy so some things get digested some actually naturally get like not digested so they kind of like escape the digestive process let me just put this in the layman's language they escape the digestive process and there's really nothing you can do about it it's not you it's because it is beans that is the way beans is made so these carbs escape digestion and then they are fermented by good bacteria in your colon and after this is done what do you have gas and a lot of gas so it's not like you should not take beans but don't go thinking that if you take a lot of beans it's healthier and that way you can escape getting fat and all that you're escaping the fat but that bloating will remain because you're just processing a lot of gas in your system so if this small part of the carbohydrate that doesn't get digested is still in your system you have a lot of bloating i know a lot of people even didn't like beans growing up because they believe it gives them hard bone people just naturally didn't like beans i love beans a lot i just felt there was nothing beans could do to me but i found it surprising that several years down the line the same beans i loved so much became like my worst nightmare like if i take a lot of beans like even if it's like a small portion i find it difficult to digest it like it's like hard work so you might take it of course you what do you do you, i'm not saying you shouldn't take beans at all but take it in smaller proportions don't go taking like a bowl full because it's really going to your body is going to find it difficult to break it down and to digest it properly like i said a part of this does not get digested it turns into gas and just stores up in your body and eliminating that gas is like a nightmare again so you don't want to rack up and eat a lot of beans thinking it is healthy it is healthy but 
don't take too much of it don't take too much of it so that leads me to my number two food that is healthy but can lead to bloating number two is wheat the first time someone told me or someone came to my house and she saw me making like wheat as like a food to be taken with soup that is very common here in africa and nigeria where i come from they are like wheat powders which you make and it's eat it with soup and apart from this we all know that wheat can be used for so many things wheat is included in bread for biscuits pastries and many things it's really used for many things so the person was like you're taking this thing and you think it's healthy but it's not totally healthy and i was like i argued with her like i argued with her and i was like no this is very healthy this is what i take i don't take complete carbohydrates i take only wheat but sorry to shock you wheat is not totally as healthy as you might think though it's still better but sometimes we just like let our guards up and just feel that this food are very healthy and we can consume a lot of it but sorry which is not as healthy as you think because it has a protein called gluten these days a lot of people are running away from gluten so if you have gluten sensitivity which happens to a lot of people you might not just be listening to your body but apparently it's been proven that about 40 to 50 percent of the people on planet earth have gluten sensitivity knew that i never knew i never bothered about gluten i just hear about gluten gluten i want to avoid gluten but i never really bothered because i was like it doesn't affect me but sorry if you are not careful you might be part of people that have gluten sensitivity and what does this give you it gives you a lot of gas bloating diarrhea in some people some people they can't just even stand it so you sometimes you need to check what you're eating why you're getting bloated might just be as a result of that thing you consumed you might be consuming wheat and a lot of it you will not know that is actually leading to like bloating in your body number three is broccoli like who knew I would argue this too even now i'm still like really how can you tell me broccoli is not as healthy as i think because it contains a lot of potassium vitamin c vitamin k it has or is very very high in fiber i felt or to me broccoli is one of the safest thing you can eat even the taste for some people is like you wouldn't want to eat it because it's kind of bland but i'd rather like stack up on a little broccoli thinking i'm eating i'm eating something very healthy but sorry broccoli also contains some fodmaps fodmaps means some kind of like carbohydrates that escapes the root of digestion so if you contain or oh, sorry if you eat a lot of broccoli you're storing up carbohydrates in your body which in the digestive process they've just been like known to escape that process of digestion so the more you eat it the more you keep stirring up in your body and the more you get bloated so it's not like you should eat it at all because people will say what day should i eat even the healthy options are like all gone so what should i eat in the process it's not as if you shouldn't eat it but this is just to make you know that at the back of your mind you should be careful don't just take a bowl full thinking that i have very healthy options i can take it and nothing will happen to me it might not make you necessarily fat but it might make you bloated which is highly highly uncomfortable i don't want that so what i do in some cases is if i'm making broccoli myself at home i try to like boil it extra just a little bit more so that to make it like more digestible like to make it softer and like to like really pass through as much as possible though doing this might make you lose on some nutrients but let's just balance it up you can't take it and have it what can you do just manage right next onions who doesn't like onions i love onions i use onions in my food like almost everything almost everything i love it a lot because onions have a lot of properties like it contains a lot of things it contains sulfur i use it for my skin i use it for my hair i consume it but onions have a lot of dietary fiber which also leads to bloating like you're yeah, wondering this is supposed to be helping me but in this case it's also affecting me like how would i deal with this unfortunately onions can make you bloated as well so you know what you do you can eat it but don't consume too much of it that leads me to the next one You'll be surprised garlic yes garlic i don't even know where to start from but garlic also has a lot of food maps the like undigestible carbohydrates that kind of like escapes the digestive process and can like just stop stop in your body and make you 
bloated so garlic too sorry can make you bloated if you take a lot of garlic i'm not saying you shouldn't take garlic i am someone that can't stay without garlic because of the health benefits but i just want to let you know that if you take a lot of garlic you might be bloated so you might not know where the bloat is coming from but check the food you eat i'm sure it is from one of those foods it's definitely in what you eat it can be you just sleeping and waking up and you're bloated it's definitely from what you eat so check what you eat and try to reduce it accordingly if you notice that a lot of garlic is making you bloated you might have to stop it or you might have to just reduce the proportion you take next on my list is barley i won't necessarily go for barley thinking that i want to just take something healthy but barley is something that you know just like wheat is very healthy and you might want to take a lot of it because of its high fiber content but the high High fiber contents can also like have a demerit so barley is containing a lot of foods just like wheat sometimes I even take some mold drinks because they use barley and rye for them and I naturally would take mold over like normal fizzy or carbonated drinks you won't catch me drinking a lot of soda but sometimes I pass taking mold drinks thinking that oh because it's made out of barley it's made out of herbs it's made out of rye and everything i am very healthy i don't have anything to worry about but sorry barley is very very high in fiber and this high fiber content can also be demerit so if you take too much of barley you might be bloated this one i don't need to tell anybody this everybody or almost everybody knows this dairy products when i talk about dairy products definitely i mean milk some people think milk is very healthy because we've been advised to drink milk because of its calcium because it helps on like development of bone skin and everything milk is good milk is healthy you're supposed to take milk yes definitely but know what it is if you take a lot of full cream milk you'll be bloated if i take milk you pity me because i'll be so bloated it gets terrible like i said before i didn't have anything to worry about this growing up i used to take a lot of milk but i think this things even become worse as you get older or as you grow in age i don't know why last year i could take a lot of milk this year is a lot different and it's been noted that about 75 percent of the world's population are lactose intolerant lactose intolerance means that you can't break down lactase the fruit sugar or the sugar which is contained in milk so it's not just 50 percent about 75 percent which means that seven or almost eight out of ten people can't break down this in their body that means almost everybody at some point or the other we all lactose intolerant it might lead to blood stain for some people it might lead to diarrhea in some people it might lead to vomiting in some people and sorry it doesn't escape as in like almost every age group is affected from babies to toddlers to young adults to adults to older people at some point or the other you might have difficulty in really breaking this down sometimes don't just listen to your body but it is really there so milk is like a trigger for many people what do you take in the process like i found out some milk that I can take and it's been wonderful for me like it doesn't contain lactase and if i consume this i know that i am almost free i don't have to worry about bloating or like my tummy being very big is even when you're this as in, it can be so annoying in the morning your tummy will be as flat as a drawing board in the evening your tummy looks like as if you're like four or five months pregnant like how do i deal with this it's kind of gets very annoying for me sometimes I'm, i'll be sincere i am human i want to eat food i don't want to care about what i'm eating but if i really want to listen to my body and to like be comfortable i have to do away with all those things and dairy does not stop at just milk it's even there in yogurt and cheese yogurt is healthy but for some people they also get bloated with yogurt i get bloated with yogurt if i consume a lot of yogurt so it's not just taking a lot of yogurt and thinking that oh i'm taking a lot of natural yogurt even when i take natural yogurt sometimes i get bloated when i take cheese i get bloated so you have to watch what you're eating because all those things are not totally totally healthy i'm not saying it's unhealthy but at the back of your mind just know that you can consume a lot of this take like little or bits of different things and just combine together to have a proper meal don't just go consuming a large proportion of this particular thing thinking that it's perfectly healthy no your body is going to tell you that stop this i have had enough of this i can't break it down anymore 
so you need to know what to do who knew about this coming apples apples are like the most popular fruits in the world but apples are not totally totally safe for consumption they say that the apple a day keeps the doctor away i attest to it yes i agree with it but taking 10 apples in a day mm -mm -mm, i won't advise you to do that this is because apples contain fructose which can become highly uncomfortable and sometimes your body cannot digest fructose yes apples are a culprit as well apples are very good because they have a lot of fiber they have a lot of antioxidants they have a lot of vitamin c apples are even proven to have more vitamin c sometimes than even oranges you can imagine but you taking a lot of apples too can affect your body so apples can cause bloating because of the fructose sometimes your body does not break down fructose and it can lead to bloating you think bananas are healthy they are healthy i'm not saying they are not healthy but taking too much bananas will affect you if i take more than one or two bananas in a day my body tells me that no you've had too much bananas also contains fructose even much more than apples and it's very high like very very high i've known a lot of people that find it difficult to like break down and to like digest bananas i am one of them if i want to have bananas i take just a bit most times i can't have bananas in itself i try to mix it up with some other things like in a smoothie or in a fruit salad so that i know that i'm not just consuming bananas too much of bananas which is high in fiber can also affect you so just know these bananas are healthy but don't go taking like six seven bananas because you think they are healthy don't blend six bananas in a smoothie because you think they are healthy you might be bloated that might be the cause of your bloating so just take a bit one two three three are the max i would advise you three are the max if you want to eat it at all if you want to blend it at all or combine it in any of any food of your choice don't take too much of it because it can lead to bloating and this leads me to the next one peanuts as well i used to think peanuts were very very healthy if you want to take nuts almonds are like a better option for you peanuts are not as healthy as almonds one small like a fistful of peanuts or granite which is what is popularly called where i come from is very very high in calories a fistful is about 400 calories that's too much right and it has a lot of oil and protein so you don't want to consume too much unfortunately peanuts are the kind of food that when you take like some you can't stop you just want to keep popping them in your mouth in your mind you think you're snacking and you're having like a very healthy snack but unknowingly i'm telling you that just a fistful is about 400 calories you can't just stop at that right you want to keep going back for more and more and more in the city you might have consumed about 2000 calories of peanuts without your knowing where is it going to your belly region is going to make you bloated so i know almonds are not like a perfect choice for everybody because number one almonds come as expensive or almonds can sometimes be tasteless i will, i think almonds are tasteless but if you want to be healthy you need to make some decisions please it's your body right so there are many other options to choose from their walnuts their almonds their mixed nuts i've advised also that you might not totally consume peanuts in itself you might try to mix it up with some other nuts so that you're not getting so much of the same thing which will lead to bloating so guys these are the top 10 foods there may be others i will find them along the line and i might share that with you but for me personally these are the top 10 foods that I know I should be worried of and I want you to also be guided with that can make you bloated without your knowledge so I'm not saying you shouldn't eat these foods you just need to consume them in moderate proportions you can't eat too much of everything your body is going to demand for something else and it might make you bloated your belly region is going to know this and everything like that do you have any other like foods do you think can make you bloated let me know in the comment section so what do you do when you're bloated for me i take a walk i take either green tea green tea helps me like green tea helps me a lot thank god for green tea i take a lot of green tea and i put like a bit of lemons fresh undiluted lemon juice in it just a bit 
in my green tea and this helps me with the bloating I take some chamomile tea if i don't have some green tea and i just try to avoid all those foods that make me bloated if i can do away with bread with beans i know these things that make me bloated so doing away with them definitely will not make me bloated but if you're bloated already doing these things will help you not to be bloated so like i said just eat your food in moderate proportions try to sit up when you're eating your food don't lie down in as much don't even like slouch try to sit up too so that as you're eating you're like digesting the food as much as you can so if you have any other points if you have any other pointers i should know or people should know please just drop them in the comment section let's learn together but please be guided this food that you think are very healthy i'm not even talking about the unhealthy ones like the beer like alcohol we all know those ones are not are not so healthy but these are like healthy foods that you think you can consume a lot of without making you bloated so just be guided next time when you're choosing your meals so that you don't suffer for something you don't know if you enjoyed my video please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share don't forget to comment below don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and i'll see you in the next ones stay beautiful bye